guys, my name is Maria Kalina and this is Real Travel. Today we're going to retrace the steps of Audrey Hepburn and Cary Grant as they explore Paris in the 1963 movie Charade. Now Charade is regarded as the best Hitchcock film not made by Hitchcock. Directed by Stanley Donen, the 1963 film follows Regina Lambert, played here by Audrey Hepburn, who has decided to divorce her husband when she finds out that he sold all of their possessions before being killed. She learns that during the war her husband stole $250,000 from the US government. And now that he's dead, several people are trying to figure out where that money is. And of course, they're convinced that Audrey has it. Now apparently Stanley Donen was a huge fan of Hitchcock and he dreamed of making a film like North by Northwest and so you see elements of that in this movie like in North by Northwest Cary Grant plays the man that everybody is after everybody is chasing um, because they think that he is someone that he is not and in this case everybody is after Audrey Hepburn because everybody thinks that she has something that she doesn't have so you see a lot of links there and you definitely see this film as Stanley Donen's homage, in a way, to Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest. And yet, at the same time, Stanley Donen creates his own voice in the film, his own style in the film, because there are elements of the screwball comedies of the 1930s here as well. You have a goofy comedy, and of course Cary Grant brings that to his role in a way that only Cary Grant can. <laughs> Now, filming this was kind of tricky because uh, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the news here in Paris, but we have had so much rain, like so much rain, that um, ultimately I just had to go out and brave the elements, I guess, and, and get as many shots as I could. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and take out key scenes of the film and I went to those locations in Paris and I tried to shoot them and, and show you what they look like today. Off we go! So this first scene that we're going to look at is actually a children's puppet theater and it is still having shows today and it is called Le Vrai Guignolet. The next stop was actually the hotel where they stayed, uh, where a lot of the film takes place. Uh, I wasn't able to go inside, but you definitely see the exterior shots that you see in the film, and it looks very much the same today. The hotel is actually called Hotel Maxime. You can see the road where they have like the taxi chases and everything, and then right next door is the cafe where the awkward German tourist is very confused by Audrey Hepburn's behavior when she's trying to stealthily follow Cary Grant and figure out where he's going and what he's up to. The next place that they go in the, the film is actually to the Leal Marketplace, which is actually no longer there because today Leal is, is more of a, a shopping center and not the marketplace that it was when the film was made. But here you get to see uh, young Walter Matthau talk to Audrey Hepburn at the market. It's enough to make you a vegetarian, isn't it? It's just lucky that I'm not hanging next to one of those things right now. Next, I've gone ahead and muted my part of it, um, because if you've been watching my videos, you've seen that video of me before. It is actually the bridge where they are in the film. I wasn't able to get new footage because, uh, I don't know if you've heard, but Paris has had so much rain lately that it's flooded and all of the little walkways are closed and underwater, essentially, at the moment. It's kind of a crazy time. Held on March 22nd. No, wait! It was last Thursday, 5 o'clock, Jardin des, des Champs-Élysées. That's it, Adam, the garden. Well, it's Thursday the day, and it's almost five o'clock. So come on. Oh, it's all right, gentlemen. Carry on. The park is actually a park that's really a cute place. It's right next to the Champs-Élysées. It's very pretty. And of course, it's when they're at the park that they realize what... I, I don't even want to say what they realize because total spoilers, but it's like 
they have this moment of epiphany, it's, and so they hop on a cab, and this is actually the scene, this is the, the street corner where they hop on that cab. Now in the same area, this is the same place where the stamp market is. When I realized that the stamp market is still there, I got really excited. I was like, oh, I'm gonna check it out. This is gonna be awesome. And so I went on the, one of the days that it was open. So I was there on a Thursday and I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore this stamp market. It's a little disappointed. I don't know if it was because of the rain or just because it's not as big of a thing. I don't know, but there were only two little stalls. And it was, it was a little bit sad, but still, hey, still have the stamp market. Um, do you know the Senate Garden at the Palais Royale? Yes, the colonnade. Yes, by the colonnade. As fast as you can get there. Hurry, Mrs. Lambert. I'm leaving right away. Goodbye. And then we're getting to the climax of the film. This whole scene is very tense. Audrey is waiting for the metro to come, and I, I feel your pain waiting for that metro. But the metro finally comes, and Cary Grant is right behind her. He's rushing to get her. They make it to the Palais Royale, and the climax happens. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below what movie you want me to scout out the locations for next. Bye!